Howdy. Today we're going to go over output values in Terraform. So there's a couple of different reasons why you might need to use output values. The first thing is maybe you just want to see what a resource returns, like what type of data and such. So like in AWS instance, this resource here, you know, this, this will return data. Uh, like you've seen in previous videos, like you see here, here we uh, we're calling AWS VPC here with the ID. You know, well, right here, you can't see what that actually, what the ID is. So maybe you want to physically see that and print it to the, the console to use for maybe debugging purposes or different things like that. So that's one way to use output values. So it kind of just gives you a nice inspection of the output data. And you can also use them for outputting data from modules. I know we haven't gone over modules yet in this series, and we will in, in a couple more videos. Uh, but for the most part, if you create a module, you know, you might group uh, some resources into that module. And you may want to output, you know, the IP address of the instance that gets created to maybe use to a different resource or something like that. Uh, so just keeping that in mind that they're, they're very useful for modules and for viewing the data on the CLI. Uh, for now, we're just going to show you how to, to output the data to the C CLI, and we can go from there. So the first thing we do is, just like we have resource here and provider here, well, we have an output that we can define here. And what we do is output and then the name of our output value. So we can just say, you know, fruit, like foobar if we want. And then we have the, the, the block statement, our curly braces here. And the only required thing we need inside of the output here is a value. And what that, that is, is that is basically we just need to assign it a value. So let's just let's just assign it our own value. So let's just say, um, you know, tuts. Let's, let's, let's assign it that. And let's save it. So now if you watch, let's run Terraform apply. I'm gonna, this is also a new thing that um, I haven't shown you with the auto approve. So a lot of times when I'm just de developing and testing, I'll, I'll add this auto approve flag. Uh, this, this just bypasses the need to say yes, you know? Um, so, but be, use that with caution, only use it when you're testing because you don't wanna automatically accidentally do something. But so let's, let's do that. And now we should see foobar tuts outputted to the command line if we did this correctly. Perfect. So you see how we have foobar tuts. So now we can see we have that value. So we will, you know, foobar here, and then tuts is the value. Perfect. So you know that that's not very very helpful, but maybe we wanted to get the let let's leave that there. But let's say maybe we wanted to get the IP address that this instance returned here. So let's say instance IP. Uh, we can do that. And, and we've gone over this in previous videos, but to see what a resource returns, um, I'm on the AWS instance resource here on the documentation. And if you look at, for every resource, there's an attribute selection section, which is where you can, where you can see what it will return. So let's see. So we can see here's a public IP. So we know we can, we can get that. So let's do that. Let's let's log out the, the public IP. So we can do value equals, and then again we'll do AWS instance, and then the name of it, which is .web. And at this point, now we can access anything that's defined in these attributes here. You know, ID, ARN, key name, all of it. But we want public IP. Let's save that, and now let's run this. Perfect. So now, you see how we have instance IP, and it echoes out the IP there. Perfect. So another way you can do that, so say, let's say, um, oh, let's clear this out. Let's say we've already ran this, and it would be nice to be able to just get this, this value now. You know, we can do Terraform output, And it'll output our variables there, or, or our, our output values here. So that's nice. If you wanted just the instance IP, 
we could do terraform output and then the value name. And since IP. So now we just got that. You know, so that, that could be helpful. Um, let's see. Maybe we, we just wanted, you know, not just the IP, but maybe we wanted, you know, the entire instance. And we can do this. We're just, I'm showing you the AWS instance. We can do this with the AWS VPC as well. Just let, you know. But let's let's just echo out VP, all the VPC data. So we have AWS VPC and then the name of it as main. So let's do... AWS VPC dot main dot oh, we're just gonna echo or uh, print out everything so we got AWS VPC and then main so let's do apply And now you see our VPC here, VPC. And now we have all the data logged from, from the VPC. Another thing is instead of the value, you can also add a description. You know, foobar if you wanted to. And you, you can add a description to your output value um, if, you, if you'd like. You're able to do that as well. There's also a sensitive um, I think it's sensitive true. There's also a, a sensitive key you can you can specify. So if you look, let's let's see. Where is it? Yeah, so you can set sensitive to true. What that does is that basically just won't you know echo out the the data to the CLI. Um, but it will still be saved to your state files. Uh, so be careful using that, kind of depending on what you need. Um, but you, you can add sensitive so it's not stored to your CLI. And, and a reason to maybe use this would be if you're using an output value from a module. Um, that could be a way, because maybe you just want to output this value to you know, a parent module and, and only do that, and you don't need to echo it on the, the CLI. So that might, that might be one reason to, to use that. There's also a depends on that you can use. Uh, uh, Terraform discourages using this for the most part, but if you, if you needed this to depend on something, uh, you can do that as well. And if you notice, we've stored our outputs in our main TF file as well. Uh, it's another common practice like we've done before with our variables. We've stored it in a variables file. You also can store these in like an outputs.tf file if you'd like. That's, that's kind of a standard practice to do as well. So let's, let's move these out. Save that. And outputs.tf is going to automatically get loaded for you so you don't need to do anything special. So now let's run this and verify that we do get the same results. All right, and we do. So we have all of our data. You have foobar, instance IP, and VPC. And that's the basics of output values in Terraform. I will see you in the next video.